Okay, greetings, WP Local Biz brief video on setting up the top and bottom, bottom menus in your uh, site, in your theme. Um, something that uh, you need to get done uh, pretty much at the beginning of your uh, site building process, otherwise uh, you'll be wondering why your site looks terrible. Okay, so when you first install uh, WP Local Biz, uh, what you don't get is a site looking like this because this is one that's already been done and we've got the upper menu and the lower menu all set but uh, when you install yours um, uh, most likely you haven't got pages already set up but what I've done is I've dismantled one that already has pages but I've removed the uh, top and bottom menu so um, when you go to the home page this is what you get you get all of the pages that are in the pages uh, directory uh, along the top and if we scroll down to the bottom because this is like the article or the blog view uh, in the footer you've got nothing you should have the um, the pages menu at the uh, along the top of the footer here and then the bottom of the site accreditations but uh, we've got them pushed outside of the um, the styling there for the footer simply because we haven't set up our um, menus for the top and for the bottom or for the header and for the footer but we call them top and bottom okay so to rectify that we go into um, into our uh, WP admin uh, dashboard <coughs> and uh, as you'll see once again I'm using this uh, Oz H horizontal drop down menu which uh, is fantastic saves a lot of we, what we need to go to first we need to go to appearance and in menus we click on menus and that'll bring up the uh, the menus uh, control panel here which as I say I've completely deleted the menus that I had in there I've got a bunch of pages ready to go up but uh, so what do we have to do is we have to add a menu name and uh, this is pretty easy to remember top and bottom top is the uh, is the top menu of course so we're going to create that menu and uh, okay so now we've got a top menu it says here the top menu has been successfully created uh, save menu well we've got nothing in it to save but while we're here let's uh, let's go down and um, have a look at all the pages that we've got here we've got a choice we can put all these pages in here so from memory what did we have here yeah, we had FAQ about terms goes in the footer site map in the footer so does that so does that contact we had in the footer home okay did we have anything else in the top video I could put that in if I wanted to okay we'll put that in <coughs> naturally we'll put that one in just for the heck of it and oh we had articles as well so articles is actually a category so we're gonna put articles in we're gonna add all them to the menu so what you do is you just go down and cl click the pages that you want to ha have added in your menu and the only reason they existed in this uh, little drop-down option box there is because I'd created them in the first place because it was an existing site uh, so you do need to create your pages and your uh, categories for your posts or your uh, articles before you can upload them to a or assign them to a menu okay so there we go um, and what you do here is you see the little cross the little marker there you just hold it down moving it up I want the the home page to show up first so we got that one okay now we want that not as a sub page we want that as a major page and then we might have FA yeah, we might have about that'll do us we'll have FAQ next okay video with subtext we'll have the next and then we'll have articles okay uh, save menu so if we don't save the menu uh, nothing will happen okay so we've done that the top menu has been oh no here we go the top menu has been updated good okay so now we need to add the bottom menu there's just two main menus that we've got here so we're, we're adding a new menu and the name for that is all in lower case and you've got a use these names exactly because the, they relate to the settings in the style sheet 
so we've got the um, the bottom menu happening here we're going to create the bottom menu okay so the bottom menu has been successfully created so we're coming back down here again what do we want in the in the bottom or the footer menu we want the uh, terms we want the sitemap that we made the privacy the legal the disclaimer we want the contact and uh, well, let's have a link to the home page as well okay add to menu and they will be added to the bottom menu for the footer okay so there they all are they're not in the order that I want I want the home page first so we'll slide that right up the top term sitemap I want kind of down just before the contact form okay everything else can pretty much whoops uh, sitemap before contact I don't want it as a sub page so if you slide it to the right there and it's indented it means that um, see that's indented we don't want it indented okay let's have that back there Whoop. it's not playing ball today okay so yeah good so we've got the home terms privacy legal disclaimer sitemap contact beautiful just the way that we want it save the menu and that is saved but we're not done yet in this uh, section uh, the the menus have been um, created we've got the top and the bottom menu but we need to assign the navigation primary navigation of course is is the top the header uh, menu so in the primary we need to assign yeah we want the top menu up there thanks and the secondary navigation which is uh, the navigation in the footer we want the bottom so we save that okay and that being the case okay has that been saved yet what's happening with that page oh yep here we go sometimes it's hard to tell when you're making a video but uh, okay I think we're done and uh, what we'll do now is we'll go back to okay that's what the page looks like at the moment and uh, we just want to uh, basically format the the menu in the top and in the bottom so what we'll do is we'll refresh the page and see what that does and if we have done that successfully yeah there we go we've got home about FAQ video with subtext and articles okay and in the bottom in the footer menu we should have the footer pages turn up and we have again um, if I just move this down so you can see a little bit better okay so yeah we've got the uh, home terms privacy legal disclaimer sitemap contact and the H card which turns up automatically and um, then we've got the uh, the site accreditations on the bottom as well which are, are controllable in the um, in the uh, WP local biz control panel okay so we've done that and all of that's fine um, now you might be wondering why does it still look like a blog even though we've got the um, even though we've got the the menus uh, happening and um, there's a good reason for that uh, but first what we might do is we might just uh, assign some styling here to the header because of course that looks uh, doesn't look right at all and this is exactly what will uh, tend to happen when you first install your uh, theme okay so we go to WP local biz and um, until you've assigned some styling to that uh, text in the top okay so this is what we got here in the control panel we just click here and that'll open up okay text effect for the uh, very uh, top thin banner none will have an outline and uh, what have we got here main text font for the header okay we'll say uh, outline and shadow okay so that's done of course all of the uh, the other text you need to put in there pre you need to program them in there but we had a pre-programmed so that's fine I just removed the um, the uh, text effects just so you could see what happens okay so um, and that's not oh yes it has okay beautiful okay so we've got the um, outline on the uh, top uh, thin banner and we've got the um, outline and the shadow for the main uh, header uh, headline and then we've got uh, the uh, sub headline underneath uh, in the italic which is very nice so it's starting to get there okay so uh, what we need to do now 
the next thing is we need to uh, assign uh, the, the home page which which page do we want to uh, show up uh, on the home page display so what we do is we go into uh, settings and reading okay so we go to the reading uh, tab of the uh, settings and uh, what we do is see at the moment it says front page displays your latest posts that's why it looks like a blog we want it to look uh, like a website so we say static page and we're going to choose the home page okay click save okay so that's that's done that one more thing we need to do but I'll just we'll just refresh that page I'll just show you what it's done so this will uh, be gone the blog will be gone but ah, we got the home page we got the sample home page text but it still doesn't look like our WP local big beside the uh, featured panel and the testimonials none of that's there where is it okay so that's because the template for the home page has not been set and uh, if we go into pages so we find uh, the home page and um, I'm just going to go into quick uh, edit because it's easy to do in quick edit so we're going to in, in a quick edit and while I'm in there you see it's got default template that's why it looks the way that it is we need the featured panel to display so we pick the featured panel we click update so now that's uh, set up our featured panel for the home page all done we go back and refresh the page and um, it should start to look like the way it's meant to look and it certainly is there it all is okay so we've got the um, you know we've got the testimonials on the left we've got our featured panel here the gallery we've got the, um, the featured panel text box down the bottom we've got the call to action down arrow everything is there that is meant to be there and so folks that's basically how you set up uh, the top and bottom menu and uh, set the uh, home page with the featured panel uh, template so that uh, your site will look like the uh, WP Local Biz uh, site that uh, you want it to look like. Okay, so I thank you very much for joining me in this video and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye now.